Hey everybody, this is Rido. We are back to Shadow of Mordor. We are doing the Lord of the Hunt DLC. In fact, I looked at the DLC and it's amazing just how much DLC there is in this game. Wait a minute, why do I not have any of my runes equipped? That might be part of my problem here. So, like, Every single one of these runes that I got were DLC, except for the one I got for making a WB account. And I played an hour of this DLC with none of them turned on. That certainly is going to affect things. Uh, and then I think the most offensive thing I have found is that about three different styles of captains war chiefs were dlc too so you would have had a considerably less varied time fighting uh captains and war chiefs in the main game if you hadn't bought the dlc it's it's unacceptable and on top of that then there's an hd content upgrade that was a i think a free up 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 free DLC thing. I think that's about the most acceptable DLC thing I've ever had seen. Uh, that kind of makes sense. If you want to play a game on a computer that doesn't have a lot of hard drive space or doesn't have a very good uh, very good graphics card, sure. It kind of makes sense to play the game at whatever content it started with. Probably 720p I would say in this case and then work your way around to uh, to potentially making progress and uh, what was I talking about man <laughs> I just blanked there uh, it makes a lot of sense if you have a weaker computer to, to make people download HD com content by default, the my death has been avenged. Cool. My death has been avenged. What does that mean? Why does it keep telling me this? And I wonder if this game is messing up. Hmm. So where were we here? Uh, I almost thought, but I don't believe it's actually the case, that the side quests were also DLC. I don't believe that's actually the case. That seems a little too much of a stretch to believe that itself. Hmm. So, it's been... Some hours I've slept since the last time I recorded, and I feel that that in part has. There we go. There's an achievement, by the way, of um, if you eat a captain. So I think that would be a good time to do it. There's also like an achievement for several other things. Um, like having a one of these guys and a growl and a um, ghoul all control under your control at once. Which which you could do, I haven't seen anybody. Come on. That's not what I wanted to do. Let's take our time here under the moonlight. <laughs> so, imagine instead of fighting this guy that you 
had instead, uh, you instead were just fighting a default Yorick. I have like all kinds of abilities now with the rune that I'm simply not getting able to do. So here's a captain I wanna like if I could if I can get him weak enough. Alright, now let's dominate him. Quickly press Y to can con connect with this guy. So this guy is here and he could potentially take out some other guys. So let's see if we can set him on a path to murder this guy. So which way do I want to go here? Do I want to move further in this direction and start this? Or do I want to go over here? Uh, Mazov's the corruption of... Invade Mazov's the corruptor's execution at the hands of Scotch the Sadistics to ensure your followers' success. No! I don't think I need to really in invade that. I think it will just happen. So instead of doing that, perhaps we'll take a more gentle approach and just do this one and then see if we can uh, then move time forward and just see if that execution works. Powerful Yorks will intimidate and bully others into becoming their followers. Here we go. We're stronger if we stick together. Come and work for me. I'm my own Uruk. <laughs> So, this guy's invulnerable to range. Let's then get rid of his companion. We are betrayed! See if we can get a different vantage point here. I I want to stealth brand him if I can. Only a talk as stupid as you would dare interrupt my affairs. So here's, here's what we're trying to do is knock him down and do some damage to him. Wow, with this Flame of Azeroth stuff though. Alright. Recruitment resolved, he has fled. Okay. Dominate. Command. Alright. This guy has only two. So if we go and send him to murder this guy, we have a power struggle connect created.
Wow, look at that Flame of Azeroth thing. Did I just not have that enabled as an epic uh, item? Or maybe it was simply a case of of I just couldn't use it in the main game. Either one of those doesn't really make a ton of sense. There's never enough meat to do around here. Must be the slaves eating hmm. each other. We should have had it. In my travels, I've amassed a worthy collection of treasure and trophies. Heads and hides. So you don't get any Miriam for picking these things up. They're the really day. just added in for no reason at this point. In, in the DLC. They don't give you extra money, they don't give you extra XP, I don't think. Maybe they give you a little bit of extra XP, but it doesn't matter because all of your abilities are unlocked. It's a pointless number, that it might as well give you a score. I would... I'm not listening to the... to the... what it's saying, it's not really that interesting. I you were there as punishment. Torven will never understand how closely this hammer is bound to our fate and that of all Middle Earth. P. Hmm. So I'm kind of thinking getting more captains on my side is the right move. We, I tried to rush through this the, for the first hour and it didn't really work. So now if I take a more tactical approach here. This guy. If I can convince him to come over here, that would be really nice. Done it. That was too much to ask for. Come on. Just get that camera on the right guy. My good guys will tell you the pieces when they get here. down. Here we go. Wow, it seems so easier. And I have no reason to understand why. I so is this guy a captain of anybody? He is. So, this guy is trying to murder that guy. Let's send this guy to murder this guy. So we're sending, sending one after the other. That's a duel. So what's our next movement we should do? Suppose we should try one of these and then we need to come over here and help him. But the second I die... Uh, 
happen. Second I die, time will move forward and the board game will change. And so that might work at a disadvantage here. Let's see what this is though. Servants of the Dark Lord sent archers to halt progress through the wilderness. Their attacks would be returned with vile consequences. Forge your legends of the hunter to unlock the blazing steed pow power. Which is just like a flaming... Uh, a flaming... Caragor. Not Kill 10 archers with vomit. Oh, you guys, man, you have to really aim here. And I can't really see my health, so I don't know if there's people, like, really close to me attacking me like crazy, or if I'm doing perfectly fine on health. Each time I vomit, it takes a little bit of help if I just pull the trigger, but if I sit there and try and use a lot, it's quite a lot of health, actually. Oh, I guess maybe his health is getting marked. Um, just ignore these guys as we keep them around to eat them. Yeah, I think the health may be in the target. We got 10 guys down. But you have to be really careful here. Just get a couple in the shot. Five more guys. Here's the question, what happens if we try to shoot up there? We can't even aim that high. Here's a group. Miss both of them. I'm trying to hit them both. We need two more guys done. So, this is just, like, one of the Warlord's quests that I'm gonna have to do anyways. So, like... I don't see any reason why I would want to do that. No reason whatsoever. No real reason I, I want you having played so much of this game already. No reason to want to get all the collectibles. No reason to want to do the beast hunts. Now, sure, if somebody had bought the game uh, brand new, they would have had to wait a few months before the DLC was probably even released. But it really doesn't fix anything, even if I came back in, in a year and tried to play these things. Uh, I still fully maintain that the the good elements of this feel 100% cut out of what the finalized product should have been. And that when we got to this area, they, we should have always been fighting beast, uh, beast warriors. And having just realized that DLC even changed the number of uh, the way that the war chiefs looked and the captains looked more, uh, the base product, if you bought the cheapest version of this game, feels completely, completely underwhelming. Uh, I didn't experience that, but the, it sounds underwhelming. It sounds like there would have been five different types of captains with no real uh, different styles of attacks or anything. It would just be doing the same thing over and over again. and. 
the saving grace of this game, the only thing that makes this game good is that it's very, the way it varies on a, on the same theme. Alright. So we have a Power 11 versus Grisha the Friendly. We want to see if we can take out Grisha the Friendly. Of course, I could also try and brand him. I'm surprised you brought a crowd to watch you die. Enough talk! Oh, I'm tingling with anticipation to see you die! I thought they were gonna do a um, reference to a Rocky Horror Picture Show there. And they kinda did, but not really. At one point he says anticipation, but he says it like anti and then waits for a minute before he finishes it with patience. So do I want this guy? My lad! No flames this time? Good. I prefer my playthings a little colder. Like, I just gonna grab this guy and like Ah, he died. Whatever. Duel resolved. Success. So let's just climb out of this area and Let's go ahead and fast travel out of this area. Alright. So our next little deal would be we have this execution and this duel. Let's go do the duel. And make sure our guys win. But I, I really want to move time forward and see if the execution just works. If the execution just works as soon as I either die or move time forward, then I think I would have eliminated several of the captains of one of the war chiefs. Up we go. Board stuff. Get over the here. Man, Let's just stealth brand this guy. Take him with us. And start the duel. So we have 11 level 12 versus Thrak the small power 15. That's one we really need to help with. The other one was a fair fight. My Uduks know better than to face me. You're ruined. Come here and let me taste your fear. So I don't think we'd even bother trying. To brand this guy. I think branding in combat is an achievement, but now the danger here would be to hit a Karagor tent. Duel resolved. He's fled. That's good, but I I don't want him fled. I want him dead. There we go. I'll dominate him, I guess. If I can get to the Y button command, 
then we're good. Alright, so now this guy has several of uh, his minions are now on my side. In fact, all of them. So, I can't have him betray him? Apparently. Ooh. I can't have him betray that guy. Hmm. So, maybe we'll find out. I can't have him betray this guy. Interesting. I don't think we can do betrayal missions. Interesting. Is this one under my control? Yes. Is this one under my control? No. So just go murder this guy. So we have two executions now. Let's look at them. There's an execution over here. Trial by ordeal, that's not an execution. Uh, that's a feast. Invade the execution. Uh, invades his execution, the red guy's execution, by the hands of y your guys. No, why would I invade it? Why would I bother? Same case here. So I just want to hit Y and advance time and see what happens. And hopefully this doesn't turn out to be a nightmare mistake. It probably is a mistake, even at this rate. Like, nothing happened. So we do need to go do the executions. That was a mistake. Alright, fine. Hey, and when you move time forward, you travel there anyways. It, but I bet it saves you a little bit of loading screen. To, it probably is two loading screens if you fast traveled there. And then... Uh, Shoot the hanging baits to by the wretched grog. I don't kind of want to always attract grogs when I shoot hanging baits. That's one thing they would have had to integrate it, integrate better into the game. Uh, I liked getting the caragors. We tried the dark lord. Time to scream. This wasn't how it was supposed to be! So... Do I need to do anything? I don't think I do. I think I can just sit here and wait. Unless he's going to get up and do something. He's just gonna kill him. I certainly could try to shadow strike down there and grab him. I suppose everybody is under my control. You! These goblin maggots can wait. I'll take you on it first. So all I have to do is run after him and grab him. No, no, no! Give me some intel, though. Uh, let's gain some intel on some of these people. Bleed for me! Execution resolved. He failed.
because the guy escaped, but whatever. Hmm. But when we look at, like, this guy right now, which of his guys is not under my control right now? This one and this one. So. Now I just want to run and, let's see, trial by ordeal, that's, I think, new. But you need to get five of his followers if you want to get the achievement. And he only has, like, I think, four. I've never seen a guy have five. I'm looking for this. It's way over there. Yeah, in a lot of ways we're just playing the game some more. <laughs> uh, just more playing the game. So executions are actually really easy if once you have brand, aren't they? They're gonna be weakened before you even get there. And a single all you have to do is really run to to the guy if everybody else is under your control and grab him. You've been very bad, Uruks. Ta ta ta! Don't do this! My troops need me, idiot! Here we go. <laughs> so just climb up here. Pull up. And grab him. Dominate him. Gain some intel while we're here. So now we have intel on everybody. So he'll say he escaped again, I think. Which is fine. It's fine by me. Alright. Now, let's go take this guy on. I believe we now have all of them under our control. Yes. He's under our control. He's under our control. And he's under our control. So all of his bodyguards are here. Mark is the target. Start this. What is his weakness? He's damaged by ranged attacks. Hates of bodyguards suffering. Vulnerable to stealth. Monster Slayer, Combat Master, Vault Breaker, Rapid Bomber. Demanding leader. The War Chief attracts more bodyguards. Alright. Do we have a rune or something we can put in here? Since we have some empty rune slots. It feels very much like we have more uh, powerful runes coming in in this game. There's an achievement for getting a level 25 rune too, which I haven't done. Uh, so, <coughs> look at this. There's two missions right next to each other. Let's start this. Unfinished business. This is the one where you were supposed to bring them out but I guess I had already done that okay so if I could eat a war chief that would be great I'm just gonna mount this guy and work my way to Zugoth 
and the... Everybody's... Everybody's working on my side, by the way. All the bodyguards are. Zugoth, legendary war chief. How much health do I have on this guy? There he is. You learned your lesson the last time I killed you. Knock him off here, maybe? How much life do I have left? Oh, come on. I could eat one of my war chiefs. Let's do this, though. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to eat. Oh, here's an achievement. Oops. Ate one of my own guys. Didn't mean to do that. Let's go ahead and dismount him. And then do this. Fight for me. Let's get up here. Shoot him in the face. Every time. A full pull. If we can get it. Fire arrow. This guy. He's down. I don't think I could have dominated him anyways. This should put an end to the butchers' extermination parties. Let the Uruks suffer the ravages of nature. So, I have so many guys now. It's now down to like who can I grab and who can I send to kill the bodyguards of other guys because I think that's the right move like if I killed this one guy I don't even need to he, he was working on my side if I kill this one guy that works well for me or these two guys and then this guy doesn't have any bodyguards at all interesting can be damaged by beasts he has no bodyguards. I'm I'm fully willing to l just go after him then right now. Uh, fast charge. Fast travel this way. Just leave my other captain sitting there on the ground. They'll continue working for me. I'll hold on to him and see if I need him later. So did we get a new rune here? No. I think... We got one here. Anything... Anything's helpful, I suppose. There's... Uh, it kind of sucks, though, because you're getting these runes, and I'm not sure they're going to go back to the main game. The way this is unconnected is odd. Okay. Let's take on... Wait a minute, is this story locked? Complete more missions with Tovin to discover how to draw out this war chief. Darn it, I can't do that one. 
Oh, I can only do this one. This one's locked too. Hmm. Well, then let's move fast travel to where we should be going, which is over here. There's a specific order here. Maybe we could issue a death threat against somebody, against the guy. Maybe he'll get some, that would convince him to get some bodyguards. That would be kind of funny if we could convince him to take some of our bodyguards with him. I think I might try that, but I want to wait because we may very well find that there's some other twist to it or he'll have bodyguards by the time his his level is set up. Don't need any intel, don't need anything else, just kind of want to run this way. Hey, are, who else is here? There's Mars. Anybody else? So this one's no good. Let's let's bring them on in on our team. If we can stealth brand them. I've spotted him. Gonna kill you. Too slow. Man fell. Might be worried I was alone yet, but I ain't. That's not gonna work. Let's take an opportunity to kill some guys. Wow. It seems like these games the game is just working for me. I may end up killing this guy, but I would prefer the turn him. guys are getting lit on fire. I got rid of him. Nice pretty explosion. Hmm. Where'd this one come from? That one must have just been sitting around. For a while. So, hmm, I don't think I'd like 70% chance to recover full health. Uh, I would 
take that over this one, I guess. Do I have another bow thing? No. Hmm. Do I have something better than like 34% to get an automatic critical strike? No, I don't think I need that. I need life. It's like, whoa. That one's on our side. So we got all these captains here. Hopefully they'll still be here. Oh yeah, I remember this too. It was unfinished business is what they call it now after you do the first part of the quest. And it was, he was riding the Graug and we had to shoot the Graug in the face to get the uh, guys to knock, take out his Graug. So hopefully his Graug is already gone. Hmm. I will applaud this DLC for giving us that backup. That backup of here's just uh why is it taking so long to load? Hmm. Uh hopefully it works. Uh if you fail at our very specific, very puzzly and challenging way of killing this boss, we'll give you a uh we'll give you an easier way to do it. Kill the wretched Graug. Where is he? supposed to be doing here. Um, do I have any guys near me? No. a Karagor or something? Where's... Give me something to do. Without the ghouls around. It's like nobody... I don't feel like this thing was set up right. Bleed attack him. Sure, why not? That'll take out a... Stealth attack of the crowd. Like, this is just gonna attract the crowd that way, I think. I don't think it... Well, here's a Karagor. Is this enough to get him in the face? Nope. I'm like, I'm not in stealth, he can sense me, I guess. There he goes. One, two. Get him, Karagor. Not working. Right, let's just stand back here and see if maybe we could bleed attack him then. Nope. It's strange, does one of my runes just like make them not want to attack me? Get him, Karakor! It's like nothing here is taking, attacking me at all. I need L5. 
wolf shot. There we go, finally. Finally, I was like, that seems very strange. Somebody over here. Anybody want to come over here? Where is the guy? Kill Ukola, Grog Rider. I don't even see him. Where is he? I swear, nowhere on this map. He's nowhere on this map. I think this is bugged. I don't know what to do. He's not here. Like, over here. Nowhere. Over here, nowhere. He just didn't spawn. Well, this is a problem, isn't it? So, what do we do to solve this problem? I guess what we need to do is just like go to this tower. Just see if we can leave the area. Like, I think that's all I can do. We're leaving the mission area and like that had nothing to do with me at all that was 100% the fault of the game so let's rock, run back up here dismount this guy and start again Now, will I have to kill the Grog again? Or do I just have to kill the captain, the war chief? Ideally, I'd just kill the war chief. Hmm. We may have actually hit a problem here, though. Uh, if I can't get this to load, I can't do any of the other two story missions. Uh, it's at least that's how it seems uh, because they seem to be very much oriented in a way have I done something in my two hours of playing this DLC that justifies it breaking absolutely not uh, kill the wretched Grog But, yeah, the guy's not there. <laughs> and 
And on top of that, like, there's nothing to do. He's just not on it. He's just not riding that thing. So I can do this all day and all night. Uh, but... It's not going to help anything. Ooh. So, we've hit this problem, haven't we? As we come to the end of this two-hour playthrough of the DLC. There's a lot of stuff we don't want to do. There's a lot of stuff that I don't feel necessary to do. So, like... I'm just gonna run back here and see if maybe I could fast travel and move move time forward. If maybe that would unstick things. Maybe I need to uh, maybe I need to exit the program and reset it. Uh, I don't know what else you can do. If I can't, I'm gonna play with this and get to the point where I'm fighting that war chief if I can and start back here. And if I, for some reason, cannot get get it to work, if closing the program and restarting it doesn't help, if nothing else helps, uh, then we are going to be just done with this DLC and we'll start the Bright Lord DLC. As we look here on the map, there's really not anything else I can do. I could run around here and try and do all these, but they're not going to move forward the main story. Col collecting the journals isn't going to move forward the main story. This one is unlocked for now. Wait, ah, swift tracking. So there is something I can do to move forward the story. Good. For a second there, I was we were about to be giving give up just completely. Faint steps, an epic rune I should have picked up. Two runes over there I should pick up. Very close there. So I can, fortunately, I can do this one, and that will allow me to, at the very least, what I could do, hopefully, is get these guys eliminated and then maybe not this guy uh, well no not this guy so now I've moved time forward hopefully that will fix the problem so still goes for what I said though um, I will play a little bit at least offline and get to the point where I'm really fighting this war chief. And then we'll start next recording. That's going to be it for this recording. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment if you want to, and watch every second of my videos. All of that helps out. If you want to support me, you can click on my name, Rido. On the right will be a blue button that says support this channel. Click it, make a donation. And if you want a friend or follow me on basically any social media sites, there's a whole bunch of links down below. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.